everything about bikes because Daddy told me everything about bikes. And so yeah. And I'll do it. I am not. I'm not carrying it. You little brain. You got it, dude. I would be laughing. Oh, oh no. Let's cut back to Daddy, the safety inspector. Perfect. He's literally getting the flipping tools. The tire is very cool. There it goes. Hey, say hi, girls. We hi. got lead mechanic, Esme, right there. Why is it seen? We got a junior assistant mechanic, Juliana. I am not a mechanic. Okay, she is not a mechanic. And we're going to show you my new fat bike. Okay, this is the Evo OMW. She is not an Evo. No, no, the bike. This is the Evo OMW. It stands for Old Man Winter. It is a budget fat bike. And my junior mechanics here are going to help me point out all the... My not a mechanic is gonna help me point out all the specs. Yeah. All right, let's check out the handlebar, Jules. Can you show me where the handlebar is? It's right here. All right, so in the cockpit, we've got these hydraulic brakes. Where's the brakes, sweetie? Right here? That is eat. Yep, these hydraulic brakes, which is pretty nice. We have... Hey, and to tell you... Oh, oh no, bloopers. Right here, it's the grips. Yep, those you are the can, grips. You can see that it's aligned. That's right, and we have a double double lock on grips which is kind of cool i've never seen that on a bike like this and then Wait, here the you know what this is called no this is called the stem this is a 31.8 millimeter stem Wait, and a 45 can we, millimeters in length can we show them hey this? do you think we should put a cool red stem on instead yeah, yeah me too Wait, esme what Daddy, about you can we show them this yeah. red thing yep and right there that, that is, helps you adjust that is a cool red thing because i really love it because it goes in and out yep in and it and makes out. it either farther away or closer easier yeah. so it's adjustable which farther is pretty cool closer because you need a farther and closer all right lead mechanic esme is going to show us where the pedals See, are not a mechanic. yep right here right these are stock pedals we're going to remove these aren't we we're going to put on some cool red ones later can you show everyone the 10 speed cassette Right there, that's right. So this bike is pretty cool because it comes with a one by system. It's the Micro Shift and, Advent X. And inside the wheels, you can see that they're fake. Oh yeah, so these wheels that are pretty heavy, but they do come with the rims drilled out and they're in pretty cool maple leaf and fashion. And they look like shape of a leaf. That's Not right, they the look like a leaf. The sky, they're the same shapes. Yep, that is correct. So the brakes are like, right? Yeah. That's right. The brakes are right there. They seem to be two piston hydraulic brakes. Anything oh, else on the brakes? I wasn't laughing. I wasn't <laughs> it's okay. laughing. Another cool thing about this bike, even though it's a budget bike, it seems to come with an external bottom bracket. Which, and it's silver. And it's silver. And the cool thing about the bottom bracket is you can put on way better crank system if you want than this heavy budget crank system. And it's going to be really easy to switch that out. Because the bottom bracket's already pretty compatible yeah, with most he, things. Yeah, he told me that one day. Yep, I told her that one day. Where are the wheels, sweetie? Can you point yeah, to the wheels? Yeah. The wheels? Yeah. This is the wheel. Here's the tire, right? Uh, and the cool thing about these tires, how wide are these tires, Juliana? How many inches? Almost lost the bike. 20 inches. Not 20 inches. These are 5-inch tires, which is really cool. A lot of the budget bikes seem to come in 3.8 or 4. And these come in five, which is going to help us roll over almost anything we want. I will say they're pretty heavy. They can run over rocks. They can run over rocks. A couple more things down here. We have a full through axle front and rear, which is really cool. Gives you a lot more stability than Wait, those. Wait, can you face it to my face? Yeah. So the beginning of this, that these are flashy. Don't touch those. That these are flashy. Yep, those are flashing. So hey, let's get back to the, what do you say we get back to the through axles, all right? Most bikes at this price point come in with quick release. These are full, full through axle, which is gonna give you nice stability. And the, the disc rotors, we have 180 up front and 160 in the back. So I know that's every, pretty cool. I know everything about bikes because daddy told me everything about bikes. Okay, and for our- It is Presta! Okay, what kind of valve is this? Is this a Schrader or a Presta? A Presta. It is. And these are tubed tires. They do not come tubeless, unfortunately. I knew it was a Presta because that's called a Presta, and now this is called a Presta. That's right. But these don't come tubeless. Uh, they are, they're pretty heavy, so that's one, one downside. 
one thing i'm a little disappointed in with this bike it did it did advertise hydraulic brakes and that is true but these brakes this is already spongy and it's not easy to bleed this is a reservoir of oil here there's no nipple or anything to, to stick on a funnel so bleeding these is going to be pretty difficult the front brake takes a lot of pull action to get any sort of grip these are the tweezers that's right sweetie yeah. on this side they came okay you get grip pretty soon but We'll have to fix, that's something that's gonna to have to be addressed is that front brake. As my cue moves out of the way, your little brain. <laughs> so the seat you can literally sit on, you know, cause it's called like a seat. Yep. And that's how seats work. Underneath, there's these line things that it's like, that's how it can like hold the seat that so it doesn't go down to feel it uncomfortable. That's right. Because or else, you see this thing right here? Which thing? Or else, that thing right there? Yep. Or else, it'll wiggle if you don't have these on your bike. So That's right. You need it on every single bike. Go. Hey, this is a 30 tooth chain ring. That's right, 30 tooth chain ring. Let's look at it. Again, this is part of the micro shift advent 1x10 so drivetrain. He's literally getting the flipping tools. Now let's cut back to daddy. Hold my wrench. All right, so we are going to make two upgrades to this bike right off the bat. So we got some pretty cool Rock Burrows red pedals. I'm going to get closer to that so they can see yep, it. Yep, watch your fingers. There you go. We got these pretty cool Rock Bros red pedals. It's going to go good with this red on the bike. And we also have the same exact size stem, 31.8 millimeter uh, diameter and a 45 millimeter length stem that we're going to put up on the front of the bike. So let's see how that goes. Yep. Okay, everybody, we're in the midst of making some upgrades to this bike, and I've obtained another second lead assist executive mechanic. There's Joseph. So as a reminder, there's Joe, there's Esme, and there's Juliana. So let's get these uh, let's get these new parts on. All right, crazies, we're ready to do the pedals. Who wants to help? Uh, I'll do it. Jules, you in? I'll do it too. All right, let's get these pedals on. Pedal removal expert, Juliana. You know, on the right side of the bike, it is Lefty Lucy. So she is crushing Lefty Lucy. It's loose. You're doing it. All right, stand back. Okay. Here we go. Maybe this will screw right out now. There it goes. And I'll pick it up. Ow. Did you take that off? Yeah. All right. Joseph, come here, buddy. I need you. <laughs> Getting an audience. All right, I need you to pick up the right pedal. It says there's a big old R on it. Can you find that one? All right, that is yeah. the right pedal. The first thing we need to do is put some grease on it. And so, yeah. And I'll do this one. All right, sounds good, guys. Let's find that grease. I'll put this one. Hold that pedal out for me. All right, let's just put a little Ew. grease. That's probably a lot of grease on there. Don't touch it. Don't breathe it. There you go. This will help the threads go on nice and easy. Joe, let's do it. Why don't you just put that right in there? Perfect. We're going to do a couple turns. Righty tidy. Now you need the wrench. Louis. You're just going to put that right there and twist it around. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Now keep twisting. You got it, dude. Yeah. Good job, man. I'm all right. Here's Esme to supervise. <laughs> She's a safety inspector. All right. Good job, Joe. Do it. All right, here we go. Taking into this. Nice. We are taking off the left pedal. That's okay. The thing is, on the left side, it is not righty tighty lefty loosey. It is the opposite. So it is righty loosey lefty tighty. This already has some grease. Yeah, give it a try. Perfect. Hold that up. Woohoo! Good job, Joe. Let's grease up this left pedal. Good job, sweetie. Now let's, let's try to put that in. So yeah, we're trying to screw on the um, left side pedal. Yep. But daddy's having too much trouble. Yeah, he's having trouble getting it to seat. All right, Jules, I need your help. Okay. I need you to spin that wrench. Please like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Always the businessman over there. Good job. Twist that. Ooh, it's going, it's like a Ferris wheel. Yep. Twist it. Keep going. Whisk it. Wake, best bicycle stem. Yep, we're gonna put it 
into there. Oh, I see what the stem is now. Yep. It makes it holds the handles. What do you think is gonna happen, Joe, when I take this front f face plate off? Mm, they're gonna detach. They're gonna detach. So we gotta be careful, right? Yes. There we go. Wow, <laughs> that was really stuck on there. You gotta be careful because this is what's holding the fork in place. Yeah, so once so I take this off, the whole thing is gonna go. We can bolt out of the top here as well. Yes. All right. So we got the top cap. This piece is very important. Slip that in my pocket. Handy dandy pocket. Take off the old stem. Just gonna toss that aside. Bing. And your then we're face, gonna put the new. Your face is going in the camera just a little. <laughs> it's okay. Now we gotta replace the top cap. So we will try this and we'll adjust it later. Think you think it looks better? At the end of this video, please comment what you think. We need another spacer with this one. All right, we're gonna take the bike off the stand, get it on the ground and straighten everything out. What do you say? So here, there's like leaves. Then we gotta get the handlebars in the right Ooh, position. No. Think something like this. <laughs> I'm getting tired of the standing. My arms hurt. You can stop. Here it is after working on it. Unfortunately, I lost my little helpers. They got bored and uh, got on the tablets and went inside. Um, also, I couldn't put the new red stem on because the spacing was wrong. It was a slightly different size and the headset wouldn't, wouldn't sit right. So I need another spacer about that big. I need one more of those to put that red headset on, but the pedals look good. The bike before I changed the pedals out was 36.9 pounds. So I don't think I changed the weight too much and, uh, we'll see how it rides soon.